Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are just going to do an Ulta haul and I'm just going to show you all some of the goodies that I got. Um, most of this I ordered online. I got a couple things in store and then I'm going to show you all three things that I got at Target but it kind of goes along with all this and it's brand new so I'm going to show you all anyway because I'm excited about them. So yeah, go ahead and get started. Okay, so all of these items that I ordered and got in store off of Ulta some are like power in and some are drugstore and um, I'm just kind of like going to show y'all what I bought and just go from there. First, I mentioned this brand and this product in my March um, Hits and Misses video, but I actually, since I loved it so much, I ordered a different color in it and it was the J-Cat Lipfinity Matte Lip. The color I talked about in my March video was um, Champagne Buzz, which is more of like a nudie color, and I still am wearing that, but not today, but I am wearing that. But this color is called Bottles Left and Right, and it's a very um, like reddish corally color, and I'll swatch that for y'all so you can see it. I said these are very very wearable very comfortable all day they don't crack or dry on my lips even though it is a matte finish it stays really nice on my lips all day I don't ever feel like I have to touch them up after a work day from 8 to 5 so I mean that's a long time and they have several colors and I love them next is a Revlon highlighting palette and it's like one of those brick um, layouts like you hear about a lot and this one is the shade 20 which is rose glow and I saw it online and it just had a lot of very pinky, champagne-y colors in them and I thought that it would be very pretty. The most popular like brick um, highlighters and blushes like these are Physicians Formula and Bobbi Brown. Those are the two that I've heard the most about, but since nobody really talks about this, I thought that I'd order and see and I will swatch that on my, the back of my hand for y'all. Okay, next is something that I'm super excited to try and get my hands in. I've already swatched it, but I haven't actually gotten to wear it on my eyes or face yet. The Carly Bible BH Cosmetic Palette. It has two eyeshadows and four highlighters, and I'll go ahead and show that. And it comes with a nice mirror and this little flippy thing to kind of keep the colors from like smearing or powder getting everywhere. There's a lot of very pretty colors. You get four big highlighters at the bottom. So, honestly, for how much I paid for this, which was not more than $15, I think, that is a great deal. All the shadows look very pigmented and pretty, and I think that it will work for a large range of skin tones. So, yeah, I'll let y'all know what I think about that later. Patrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette. Just looks like this, and it has got a cool tone um, contour color. And then on camera, it's going to look flat, but it's actually a shimmer color next to it as a highlighter. And it's just a little duo like this. Next is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. I've only heard one person talk about this and that was Kathleen Lights. I can tell by the way this looks on the back of my hand that it is not a beaming highlighter. It is a very natural everyday glow and she did mention that in her video when she talked about it. I can't remember what video it was but if I can find it I'll link it down below because I think she kind of shows what it looks like and everything but it's a very subtle, it's not even really a glow, it's like a a very subtle like sheen it looks like it's coming from under your skin almost which is you know a great thing for every day because not everybody wears a full face of makeup every day not everybody even wears foundation every day sometimes you might just wear a CC cream or a BB cream um, and it just looks very pretty I can see people wearing it on their inner corner under their brow bone um, so yeah I'll put that on my hand for y'all
Okay, next is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour um, Face Contouring and Highlighting Kit. Comes with a little mirror, and you've got your four shades, your light cocoa, which is just to like brighten the under eye, your medium cocoa, contour, dark cocoa for either darker skin, which really brightens up your face, and then the pop of light, which is obviously your highlight. And then you get this cute little kabuki looking brush. It's metal on the end. It's very nice. And thinking about buying this for a very long time, they have the individual contour compacts, but I just thought I'd go ahead and get the whole palette, and that way when I'm tanner, or if I just feel like really bronzing up my face, you know, just go ahead and have this, and it comes with a mirror, so. They blend very, very easily. Um, I have actually used this a little bit since I got it. I just used it on my face yesterday and loved it. I thought that it was great. And the packaging is super cute. I love it. This is for light to medium skin tones. I do believe they have one for darker skin tones. And I think the main difference in the darker one is going to be these two colors. They're just going to be darker shades. So there's that option. Next, I got a Too Faced Melted Matte Color. It is called Me So Pretty. This is the packaging. It's super cute. It's like a see-through bottle so you can see the color, which I love. It's got this gold satin finish top and it just unscrews. Very creamy texture to it. It dries matte, obviously. This is a very light color, so we'll see how that goes for me. I got the NYX HD eyeshadow base. Looks like this. It is just a wand like that. And it is just an eye primer, obviously, for your eyeshadow. It's not super thick or pigmented. So I can tell that it's probably not gonna cover like a lot of discoloration or bangs or dark spots on your eyelid. Um, it may a little bit, just depending on your skin tone. But I think it's mainly going to really hold your eyeshadow in place, so. Next, I got the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. When you put it on, it's supposed to just like make your skin look more even and flawless, minimize any of those pores, makes everything like an even flat texture to apply your foundation to. So, I'm very excited about this. The Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray looks like this. And it actually has two lids. It has this lid and this lid, so I'm not really sure why. But yeah. Sprays like that. Um, I know that their All Nighter Foundation is like raved about, and I believe this is too. I just wanted to try it, so I got the smaller size of it. Um, it's just a finishing spray, so you can spray it after you're all done with your makeup and it's supposed to hold it in place, you know, all night, obviously it's called the all nighter. So I will definitely be putting this to the test and I'll let y'all know what I think about it. I have actually today at Ulta, so I thought that I would include it. It is the Naked Skin, or it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And I just got the small size, like the little travel, the small little sample sizes that they have at the front of Ulta that always get you. I just got the little version because I wanted to try this concealer. So I thought for maybe days that I don't wear as much makeup or I want just a lighter, fresher look in the summer, I was going to try this because it's supposed to be, like it says, weightless. So it's supposed to be a little, you know, less intense and lighter on the skin. And I got the shade Light Neutral. Two Buxom lip products. I got the full on lipstick in the shade Sydney. Looks like that. And it is a matte, long lasting color. It's supposed to have a refreshing, tingling sensation. And looks like this. You just pop the little top off. 
I'm gonna scroll it up and it's kind of got like a pointy end to it. And it's just a very nude um, color, of course, because I always buy nude colors. And it says the little name on, on like on the bottom and then Buxom, it's a very cute packaging. I'll I also got the Glossy Pout Plumping Shine. I got it in the shade White Russian, which I have heard everybody loves. It's very, very glossy and sheen. I put it on my hand in the store over several colors, and it looked really pretty. It's like a pinky, white-based um, gloss, and it's very sheen, so I'll put that on my hand later for y'all. It's actually what I have on my lips right now, but I don't have the other product on my lips right now. Okay, I'm super excited about this. I got this really cute little towel headband to put on my face while I wash my hair at night. It's by the brand The Vintage Cosmetic Company. And it's just a cute little bow. And I thought that I'd wear it on my head when I wash my face and when I apply my makeup to just be real extra. So I'm very excited about this. These three items. I did not get at Ulta. I actually got them at Target. But, um, I really wanted to try them because they looked really fun. It is the Wet n Wild Makeup Sticks. And I got a highlighting shade. I got, and then I got two contour shades in different colors. This is the Mega Glow Makeup Stick Highlight. It's just a pinky undertone. And then I got the four shades in the color Call Me Maple and Oaks on You. Call Me Maple is a little bit dark, darker than Oaks on You, but these are both, when I put them on the back of my hand, they're both pretty cool toned. I'd say this one's a little bit warmer. The Call Me Maple is just a little bit warmer than the Oaks on You. That's more of a cool toned contour, so. We'll see about that. I've really been into cream blushes and contours and products because I just feel like it looks more natural on the skin. Especially since I have dry skin, I just feel like it looks and flows a little bit better. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show y'all all the goodies that I got. It's going to be a really short little video, just kind of laid back. Whenever I watch people and see what they buy, I immediately go and spend a bunch of money that I don't have or don't need to spend. To you know, I will be using these in upcoming videos and I can give you some feedback as I use them in the videos and kind of tell you, yes, I really like it or no, it didn't work for me. I'm just looking out for y'all. That way you don't go wasting your money. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below, let me know your thoughts on this, if you like these kind of videos, if you don't like these kind of videos, or if you have any other ideas for me to do. I always would love to hear back from y'all and just see what y'all are actually interested in watching. And yeah, hope y'all have a good rest of your day or night and stay tuned. Who is having firm on that attitude? You gotta get with it. <laughs> you gotta get with it. Stop it. Caleb? Huh? You're gonna have to turn some noise on. <laughs> no lie. Was this a side, side gig? What do you call this? <laughs> Can't handle the pressure. It's too much effort. Skills are good.